Now I would like to replace this second clip with this one here that has the ship in it. So I'll call this clip up by double clicking it in the player window, this being the preview window for the clip we want to insert. I can make the bin a little smaller now so that we have a larger preview window available to us. And so this clip should replace this one here in the timeline. A simple method of doing so would be to simply drag and drop this clip into place here. We can see that it is much longer and it is now inserted and so we can select the following clip and remove it. As I am in insert mode with ripple active, the gap is automatically closed. The clip length, however, is not kept as desired as the original clip was shorter than the inserted one. So I'll undo twice to go back to the original timeline. I'll zoom in a little. Now I'd like to show a method in which the original clip length is taken into account. This means that we will replace this clip with this one, but the original clip's length will be kept. And to do this, we use the same method as before, that being drag and drop by dragging the clip from the preview window, but this time we will use the right mouse button rather than the left one. We have seen this before in that when dragging and dropping with the right mouse button, an option menu appears when we place the clip, and from this menu we can choose the required option. In my case, I'd like to use the replace function, and I'll select it with the left mouse button, and our original clip is replaced with the new clip, but the length is kept the same. We then come to the question of what happens if the clip that we wish to use to replace the clip is shorter than the original, and I'll show you now. To do this, I'll undo the previous function and look at how long the new clip is relative to the old one. It's much shorter. And so, I'll drag it from the preview window with the right mouse button and once again use the replace function. And we can see that as it is shorter, a gap has been left and I have to manually close it. I can use the right mouse button to do this and choose delete gap. And having done so, we have replaced our clip with the shorter one and closed the gap. So this is how to use the replace function if the clip is shorter by manually closing the gap afterwards. So those are the first examples of replacing clips. For similar timeline functions, we have other possible methods, especially for example using the in and out points in the timeline. And I'd like to cover these functions in detail in the following chapter.